All right, I've got this file, and we're basically going to take it from zero to uh, some animation in Maya with blend shapes. So I'm just going to quickly create a uh, a sculpt of a character, and this is sped up, I think, 700%. So uh, I apologize for the speed, but it's not all that exciting to watch real time. Okay, so basically just using Dynamesh, pulling things out, the neck, the shoulders, uh, eventually the lips and the ears, and, and putting in a pocket for the mouth is going to be important if I want to use blend shapes to, uh, to have him move and frown and open his mouth. So I need to make sure that I get that detail in there. So I'm basically trying to find everything I need to make before I retopologize to a more animatable, friendly mesh. So I need to make the ears look pretty decent and uh, the lips. I need to put some eyelids in there. And so right now I've appended in a sphere. Try to place it and then I've got to go back in and build in the eyelids so that uh, I've got a way to blink. And I'm just using the clay build up tool. It's a fantastic brush for just kind of getting things into place and also the move brush to push things around a little bit. And at this point, it's just looking at anatomy, adding adding muscles and uh, and features. And I'm going to high polish him to clean him up a little bit. And now that I've got him pretty much where I want him, I'm just going to go clean up things, make sure silhouettes work, make sure the lips are tied together, and uh, kind of check his silhouettes a little bit. Yeah, overall, I think this whole process from sphere to animation in Maya was about a half an hour. So it doesn't take that long. All right, just kind of stylizing him a little bit more and uh, he'll be ready to go. Okay, so now that I'm happy with that one design, I've Z-remeshed him, which is just going to be fine for my intents and purposes. And I'm going to use this low res right in Maya, which is going to be fine and I'm going to duplicate the head a number of times to use my blend shapes. So here we go, make a smile and in doing so I realize looking in a mirror that when I smile my nose lifts up a little bit so that's something. I've got to close a mouth. I want to open and close that and you need to make sure that each of the blend shapes makes sense. I might want to do one left eyebrow, one right out eyebrow, but make them separate so that if I want to animate them I can get at them separately. I don't want to make complete moves everywhere, so except for maybe this one, which I want to blink both eyes at the same time. And I'm keeping it just to this lowest resolution. If I really wanted to, I would UV and bake on the high resolution details, but in this case I'm just gonna stick with the guy that I've got. Anyways, try to give him a sense of fear or loathing or well, honestly anything here. Now the great thing about each one of these different blend shapes or, or shapes is that they all share the same topology so if I go Z them to Maya they'll be able to uh, be connected easily enough. So I'm just moving these guys around and I've slowed down my speed here for this a little bit knowing that it's a little more uh, uh, intensive looking through menus of Maya. So I've duplicated my base mesh and I'm going to make him a master. So that's my master blend shape and I'm going to always turn that one on. And over here I'm going to add all these other faces. I, I've typed in their names. I realized I typed them in the wrong location so it's not going to matter. But that's okay. Make a new blend shape for them and they're going to go over to uh, this other, the slave blend shape character and everything that moves that guy is going to move my main character which would be rigged. Okay so the blends are all set up to go and uh, now I'm just gonna create a really really simple uh, rig knowing that he really has no body outside of his shoulders. Um, I'm just gonna blend him and if you use some of the newer tools like the voxel binding uh, I, you tend to have to paint a little bit less um, skin weighting after after the fact and so I'm doing that 
and I'm binding or basically breaking the, ear, the eyes apart and then parenting them to the bone in the head so they don't slide around and now when I move the neck the eyes go with it so you definitely do not want to skin bind your eyeballs or they'll squish now I'm just checking all my blend shapes make sure they work and that looks pretty good and then uh, lastly I thought it'd be kind of nice if we just kind of move this guy back in, into place and uh, and maybe rigged a little bit I gave him like something to look at so force the eyes with an aim constraint to look at this uh, at this circle and that would be my the thing I would animate for things around so here we go so you want to use the aim constraint I'm using the maintain offset uh, just so that the eyes don't flip around and I'm just going to hide those guys, put it in a different layer, and he's ready to animate. Uh, simple rig, obviously, but it, it's going to work. So I've got my blend shape editor, and I've got this uh, aim constraint, which is going to move the eyes around. So set a couple keyframes here and there. And I'm realizing that I've, I've got the automatic keyframe turned on right now. I believe that might be outside of my screen. And uh, so basically I'm just moving around on the timeline. I think I set it to frame 1 to 200. And I'm just moving things around a little bit, setting keyframes, uh, moving the neck, hopefully giving them a little more personality. And I figure if I start and stop my animation on the exact same thing, then I can have this animation loop and just let him uh, be an interesting looking guy. So now I'm just one by one going through the different blend shapes and giving him blinks, giving him a little bit of personality and trying to make it uh, feel a little bit natural. Now if I was trying to act, or if I had some verbiage, he was trying to say something, I'd for sure need a few more uh, blend shapes. But then I'd also have a little more reason for when he should blink and what he should be doing. But right now I just want to make him look a bit natural as he... Uh, as he moves around a little bit back and forth. So, set keyframes everywhere, and now it's pretty much a time to see if it looks okay. So push the play, he looks somewhat decent, and that's gonna be it for now. Thank you very much. Have a lovely day. Good luck on your assignment.